Hi guys. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna put a twist on using our molds. I used one of my new IOD molds that had just come out and it, this is the sheep from the sheep, cow, and the pig. This kind of reminds me of the spun cotton ornaments they used to use on trees long ago. You wanna see how we did this? Well, let's get started. So I'm using my IOD Village Market mold and I'm gonna do the sheep. Now we usually are using clay or resin or other things in here. We've even done uh, paper mache in here, but I'm gonna use cotton. So what I'm gonna do real quick is just kind of spray the inside of this mold and I just sprayed it with water. Now you could use cotton balls that you have in your in your bathroom or for cosmetics. I'm actually using a real cotton bowl and I even has the seeds in it. So we're gonna get funky bumps. What I'm doing is I'm just putting um, a little bit of a mixture of water and a Mod Podge decoupage type medium. And I want to like form these so they become more of one piece. And I'm pressing this down into this mold tightly. Now I actually haven't used the synthetic cotton balls, so you might have to play with that. I've only used this real cotton, but I would think it would work. That's something that I'm just gonna have to try. I might need a little more here, so I'm mixing this watery decoupage medium on this. It's giving it a little stretch. It's going to, uh, the water is gonna help push it down into the mold. The Mod Podge is going to help keep all the fibers together. So I am gonna press, I'm gonna try to get it down. It said the seeds are in there. It'd make it a little easier without the seeds, but I really don't mind that I have those in there. So it's pretty watery. So you do have decoupage medium in there, but there's a lot of water in it. So when I lay a few more pieces of this down, it's going to adhere to what's already there and it's gonna stay nice and stuck. Fairly saturated. It's not 100%, but if you notice with cotton, it doesn't take much water and it's completely saturated like a cotton ball. It's very, very wet. I don't want a ringing wet, but it's, it's pretty wet. Because if it's not wet, it won't form. Because when it dries, it should form into the shape. So you need to make sure you, you press in tightly. You want to get all that, that fun detail. Now I am leaving the legs. We are going to make legs for him. And we're going to fill this up. And it's going to take a little bit for this to dry. So I'm going to let it get um, dry enough that I can pull this out without it falling apart. So I'm guessing about another half hour or so, and then I will carefully roll it out and then lay it out to dry. So I, I kind of walked away. It's probably been in there about an hour or so. I'll make sure it doesn't stick. Let's see if I can get him out carefully, but he's still damp. There we go. I am just going to let this lay and dry and then we will finish working with him. So he is completely dry and I'm gonna make some legs. You could use some sticks or twigs or um, anything that you already have. I just have paper wire so I am going to do that. I'm gonna show you how I'm measuring this out. I'm doubling it and, I, and I'm just looking to say okay I want it about that long. So I'm gonna cut one more this size since I know this is the size I'm using. Okay, there's my midpoint. And then what I'm gonna do is just bring the two ends up. So the actual ends are a little bit more rounded. And you can leave them like that or you can twist them. Whatever you would like, you could even make a little hoof that stands if you'd like that. Just, you know, what, however you would like your legs to look. And let's do the other one. About half, bring it in. And I could just leave them like this because they are brown, but I think I'm going to paint them. 
think I would like them just a little bit darker. We have the paper wire listed on our favorite things and they do come in different colors, but it's just as easy to, to paint these little guys. Let's just paint these and set them aside to dry and then we're gonna glue them on the back. Okay, so we're just gonna let these dry. So I wanna distress him a bit. I don't want him too wet, but I'm just gonna lightly spray with this, this is a tan writ dye in, in a bottle. And you could use um, Distress Oxide if you want. I'm gonna add a little, cause it's gonna give it a little different dimension. And this will lighten up. Okay, I am gonna set him aside to dry. Also, and then we're just gonna hot glue the legs on. So all I'm gonna do is just hot glue these legs to the back and everything is dry on this and I'm just gonna let that set and if I need to I'll bend the legs if I absolutely had to I could also trim them if they were way too long guys wasn't this easy I haven't tried the cotton balls yet but I know the cotton bowls do work I hope you try something like this out. Try different mediums in your molds. See what you come up with. I'd love to hear how it works out for you, but whatever you do, have fun.